never fall asleep using a heating pad. That's right. I have seen these cause some major burns. In fact, some second degree burns in my patients. Never fall asleep with these things on you and on. Not okay. Uh, also, make sure that you're not lying on top of the heating pad. This is my heating pad, obviously, as you see here. Uh, this is, by the way, the protective case. It came with this. Uh, so your heating pad might have something similar. Let me show you. Uh, the heating pad's on the inside, and it comes in this protective case that you keep it in. Um, never lie directly on top of these, okay? The problem with lying on top of them is it can actually create more heat underneath you. It can become actually hotter than if the heating pad is lying on top of you, okay? So don't lie on it. Make sure it's lying on you. Guys, we are talking about seven things you should never do with a heating pad. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, by the way. Uh, third thing is to never use a heating pad. By the way, I'm going to lock this up. Um, never, ever use a heating pad on an infant. That's right. Th these are not for infants, okay? Uh, the next thing is to never use a heating pad if uh, you have poor circulation, if you have poor feeling or poor sensation um, on someone who's unconscious or someone who's paralyzed. There are other people who shouldn't use them either, but that's just a quick sampling. Also, make sure you're checking with your doctor, okay? Before you use a heating pad, uh, make sure that you know it's safe for you to be using one. Uh, by the way, take a look at my heating pad here. It's got lots of instructions on it, some of the ones that I'm mentioning. So if you have a heating pad, um, one of the things you should do is you should be reading the instructions that come along with it, okay? Super important, all right? Uh, the next thing is never use heating pads for too long. A lot of people ask me, Dr. Jen, how long should I be using my heating pad for? Well, of course, it depends, but I don't recommend using a heating pad for more than 20 minutes at a time. This thing should not be staying on you for, you know, 30, 60, uh, an hour, uh, two hours. No, 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 no. 20 minutes at a time. And you should be checking your skin frequently. Okay. That's super important. Uh, also, uh, we talked about this case, this cover here, right? Okay. Uh, many he heating pads have this. You don't want to put the actual heating pad directly on your skin. Don't put this on your skin. Make sure there is a barrier between the heating pad and your skin, either a case that it comes in, trying to get this back together, I will, uh, either the case that it comes in or a towel or something else. Don't put the heating pad directly on your skin, okay? And the last thing is, don't crank this thing up too high. Many heating pads have adjustable settings, which I'm totally fine with. But guys, even on a low setting, it can still be too hot. My point being is be very mindful of the amount of heat that your skin is getting, okay? Don't make it too hot. And the other thing I should say, guys, is even with these rules and regulations, it is still possible to be burned or have damage done by heating pads. I have seen rashes. There's a characteristic rash that can happen in people who use heating pads chronically. Um, uh, burns. Obviously, I've mentioned other things as well. Um, heating pads are great. Don't get me wrong. This is not a I hate heating pads video because actually I think they're awesome and they work so well for like stiff joints. They work so well for like muscle pains and things like that. They help increase blood flow to the area and bring oxygen rich blood there. Um, but but you just have to be careful. Um, so I want you to be careful. How do you use your heating pad? What do you do to make sure that you stay safe? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cardle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates, guys. I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.